everybody welcome back to my channel I'm so excited to share this video with you today's video guys I'm going to paint and do a decoupage technique to these mini clay pots so to start off guys you're going to need some clay pots some paper plates paint brushes floral napkins and some paint and some sharp scissors so I chose two colors of blue acrylic paint that I purchased from the dollar store one is a light blue and the other is a navy blue so I'm just going to pour those on the paper plates and then I'm going to start painting the clay pots so you're going to paint the inside as well as the outside and you're going to do two coats So now that my clay pots are dried, I have chosen these floral napkins that I purchased from the dollar store. So the easiest way to find the image that you want is to open your napkin up, lay it on a flat surface, try and take as much of the wrinkles out as possible. Decide on the image that you want based on the size that you are applying it to. And since I have mini clay pots, I can't have a very large image. Once you've decided on the image you want, now take your very sharp scissors and very carefully cut as close to the image as you possibly can. Remember, once the two backings of the napkin has been removed, your napkin becomes extremely delicate. So please take your time with this. Now line up your image on your clay pot where you want the image to sit. Just play around with it until you find the side that you like the best. This is where you might find you have to do extra trimming on your image. Once you've completed that, you now remove the backing. It depends on if your napkin is a two ply or a three ply but you carefully remove the backing. Now take your Mod Podge glue. I poured some in a tray. I just find it easier to use that way. Then apply a thin layer where your image is going to go on your clay pot. So I cut out a really large flower and it has some leaves, but there's a lot of detail on it, guys. So I'm not quite sure if this is going to work. So don't be afraid to just play around with things until you secure the flower to the pot. You still have time to move things around. So if you have to trim things up or change your design, don't be afraid to do that. I do things a little bit differently here, guys. I actually like to use my fingers 
and not a brush. So whichever way is more comfortable for you, by all means you do that. I just find that the paintbrush, it doesn't give me the freedom that I need to gently move the flower. Whereas with the brush, unless you have really good control, because the napkin is so delicate and it's very easy to rip it. I just find it easier just to use my hands. So all I'm doing now, guys, is just gently placing the image where I want it to be. Then I am applying a little more Mod Podge over the top of the image to help smooth out the wrinkles. And then I'm simply just tapping it in place. So this step is optional. I like to take a little bit of paint, apply a little bit to the flower. This just creates a little more definition. Right now I'm just using the white, but in a little bit, I'm also going to be adding a little bit of black. Again, this part is optional. So I'm now using a dampened cloth and just sponging over the top that I painted to soften the lines. So I'm now using this white chalk pen. I find it's a little more forgiving, guys. So again, I'm just using this just to outline the petals on the flowers. And again, this is just to add a little more definition. So now I'm just dabbing a little bit of white paint on my finger and I'm just tapping this all over the pot. I will later get a damp cloth. Use that like a sponge to soften any hard edges, which will soften the blue and blend the flowers perfectly into the pot. This part is optional. I just applied a little more Mod Podge to the outside of the pot, and then I gently sprinkled a little bit of glitter just to give it a little more pop. So now I'm moving on to the dark blue pot. The steps are pretty much the same, guys. You can do some variations and try and be a little more creative. So I'm just going to speed the film up for this part and then you're going to see the end product.
So this is what they look like, guys. I think they look super cute. Now it depends on what type of napkins you use because some napkins that are a little more expensive have more detail and they look more realistic, the flowers. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your napkins. But overall, these were inexpensive napkins from the dollar store and I simply added a little bit of paint to it. And I think they look amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me paint and decoupage my mini clay pots. I hope I've inspired you guys to try this DIY and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, I would really appreciate you supporting my channel by hitting that red subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up. Stay safe, everybody. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.